And welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to From Toys to Trains. I'm Maya. Well, this week, um, thought I'd give everybody an update on the two projects that we've been working on here. First of all, um, give an update on the Peterbilt semi trailer. Uh, as you can see here, we've got the, um, the hood and the cab for this uh, all painted. And the color choice that we used for this one was from uh, Cretex uh, Airbrush Colors, a uh, pearl plum color, which I thought turned out really nice. Um, like I said, I got the hood and the cab all done and everything. All I have left to do is the interior to the truck. And then eventually, once I get this all together, this is gonna sit on here just like so. I don't wanna get it too far, but this is gonna go on there. And then that's gonna go on the front just to kind of give you guys a little bit of, you know, what, what uh, what's gonna uh, be shown and everything. So that's how that's gonna go. And like I say, the color on here, um, I really thought it turned out really nice. I mean, it's it was supposed to be a purple color anyway, so that's basically what I ended up doing with it. So you're gonna let this dry for like a day or two, and then um, this will be ready to all go together. Meantime, the other project that we've been working on is our end scale coal fire plant. Now, from the last time that everybody saw this, um, I just started to get this all together. Uh, got the one, I believe it was the front side and this side all done and everything. Well, this is the next one we're going to redo now. Um, since I've got the roof on on both ends here, I got the roof on here and here. And I'll just spin it around here so you can kind of see it. But this is the one side of the building with the doors and all that. Um, you have the little bit of door here where it's going to be, oh, let me see here. Um, it's going to be like a continuation of the building or whatever. Then you have the one side and then the back side. Um, as you can see here, I've gone ahead and retaped all the windows using basically just this little bit of uh, what they call bingo tape. Uh, you know, that they hold uh, the sheets down with the corners, stuff like that. So... I repaint I retaped all the windows and what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna use my uh, airbrush gun and we're gonna use just the detail white like this plain one from wicked colors I'm um, gonna put that in and I'm gonna respray this whole entire thing uh, white and then I'm gonna leave the roof parts like this that are here I'm gonna leave those black um, just so that's how they are but then the next part of this building is gonna be uh, let's see here it's gonna be like this here is gonna another little uh, I'm just showing you real quick here but another little extension that's gonna be glued up top like this kind of gonna go around and then these two will also be painted white um, like I say I still got a little bit more work to do on this one but this one is turning out to be um, fairly nice, though, too. Fairly decent of a build. Um, have no problems with it so far. Like I say, this is the first model that uh, actually is turning out uh, the way it should be turning out. So, as I say, except for the painting color, because, like I say, I tried to do it by brush, but you got so many, like, rivet lines in here, rib lines in here and everything. So I think the best bet for this one is just going to be is to um, airbrush it so I can get it all nice and smooth and everything. But um, that's where I am on that end scale build. And like I say, once I get both of these builds done, um, I get the truck all together, the semi truck all together, get the little end scale building together, which like I say, I'm probably going to glue up um, the top half here and spray that white with this. The doors, I'm probably going to end up painting them black. Uh, that'll probably be all done by hand. Um, paint them the darker color. And I still have plans to uh, end up putting LED lighting inside of here. So when you see the train board, 
this will be able to like light up at night. And the nice thing about this is, is that it is open on the bottom half here. So I can end up like running like um, an LED rope lighting or something through here and then run the, the cord um, out down through the bottom of the train board and hook it all up. Which, um, speaking of the train board, just to give everybody an update, we're still working on that, um, the end scale setup. Uh, just due to the fact with everything going on and things happening like they are, we are kind of in a hold pattern right now. We haven't been able to test the track out yet because um, all the hobby stores have been closed and everything. So we haven't been able to get, you know, an end scale uh, DCC train uh, to test it all out. But we've got enough work yet on that train board to where um, we're still working on getting the track in place, nailing it all down and everything. And I'm hoping that next week, either the end of this week or next week, I should be able to give you guys an update on that. Um, just, you know, show you where we are and quite possibly where this building is gonna come into play on the, um, on the train board over there. But like I say, for the most half, um, we got enough projects right now to keep us busy. I mean, you can see it's a mess on this table, but got enough projects here to keep me going. Um, like I say, I've got another Lego build coming up. Um, I also have a uh, five window coupe, uh, what I'm doing, a uh, 68 Volkswagen Beetle, um, a P61 Black Widow airplane, and also I'm going to be doing a, like a... Um, let me see what it is right here. I have it sitting here, but it's like a collectible dollhouse um, kind of thing, a Providence one. Figure, you know, do something for the uh, for like a, like a little girl, or you know, just show you all different things. Like I say, what what we are capable of doing here. Um, but other than that, that's um, what it's been for this past week. Like I say, just trying to work on things and getting things done here. So thanks for watching my video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button uh, so I can continue to keep bringing you all this um, kind of stuff. And like I say, um, coming up in the summer, we're going to have, as soon as we can get out and get things going again, um, we're going to have that outdoor bird feeder that we're still in the works of getting that set up. Um, that's going to be a live channel feed on here. And hopefully we can bring you some other live channel feeds too throughout the summer as well as um, the RC car, the rest of the train board stuff, model cars, all kinds of things like that. So, like I say, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time, everyone, I'm Maya. Thanks for watching from Toys of Trains. We'll see you right here next time. Take care, everyone.